Regarded as a giant virus, the Medusa virus derives its name from its ability to convert host amoeba cells into hard cysts. Curiously enough, genetic analyses have suggested that, compared to other giant viruses, the Medusa virus is closer to eukaryotes. However, details of its morphology and maturation, which could help shed light on eukaryotic evolution, are not well understood. Recently, a group of scientists from Tokyo University of Science and the National Institutes of Natural Sciences in Japan investigated the particle morphology of Medusa virus inside infected host amoeba cells using conventional transmission electron microscopy, or CTEM, and cryoelectron microscopy, or cryoM. To their surprise, they discovered four types of particles inside the Medusa virus. Pseudo-DNA empty or P-empty particles filled with spongy material but no DNA, DNA empty or empty particles with no DNA, semi-DNA full or S-full particles half filled with DNA, and DNA full or full particles fully filled with DNA. Using time course analysis, they found that these particles in fact represented four distinct stages of maturation of the Medusa virus. Furthermore, the team discovered that viral particles and viral DNA were produced independently in the cytoplasm and nucleus respectively, and the empty particles found near the host nucleus could incorporate the viral DNA to convert into S-full or DNA-full particles. Moreover, cryo-M imaging revealed that all the particle types had a comparable outer structure comprising three types of spikes. On examining the internal viral membrane, the team discovered open membrane structures or membrane gaps in the P-empty and empty particles, suggesting that the virus uses these gaps to exchange proteins and DNA necessary for maturation. Additionally, they suggested that the Medusa virus likely regulates the host cell's mitochondrial activity from directly within the cell. These findings highlight the novel mechanisms underlying the unique maturation process of Medusa viruses. This opens doors to a better understanding of the structural and behavioral diversity of giant viruses.